So hope you've all been having a great week this week. It's Dante Day 3 selections time at the beautiful York Racecourse. Let's see if we can find a few more decent selections today. All the best if you're having a bet. So with no further ado, let's have a look at what we like the look of for this Friday at York Races. We start at 2.45 with a handicap here. It's the Knights Solicitor's Handicap. It's over one mile, two and a bit. Wide open this one, class two handicap. Should be an interesting race. Botanical leads the field around three to one, but we'd like two at bigger prices. The first one being Eileen Dew, 12 to one. Previous York winner. Certainly very capable of going well again at this track. Uh, this is a slight step up in distance, but don't feel it should be too much of an issue for Eileen Dew, who does seem to finish races pretty well in the past. Recently seen out a third, finished sixth in a race just short of a mile. Uh, ran okay that day, I thought. And I think off a really decent mark, has a good chance at a very nice each way price. All right, next down is one at an even bigger price theme park 25 to 1 this one so last seen at newcastle at the start of may didn't run particularly well that day ended up finishing last of 10 but we know this horse has done okay at york in the past albeit this race is a bit of a step up the mark he's off look looks pretty decent to me and the distance wise, well, he's had a third at Chester last year over this type of distance. So don't feel that should be an issue. It is a big price, but if you can get some extra places, feel the theme park can certainly outrun those odds. Best of luck if you're getting on anything in the 245. So next we skip along to the 345, it's the Yorkshire Cup. Can be a fabulous race, this really, really high quality field. Tower of London leading the field at around six to four. Currently about like a couple at slightly bigger prices. Hamish, 11 to two, immaculate record last year this horse four wins from four starts including winning at york last july with tom marquand on board we know this horse is a real class act we know this distance is perfect for the horse and certainly feel he can go well again at a backable each way price of 11 to 2. And another one just to mention there, Al Kareem, slightly bigger price again, 8 to 1. A couple of really good wins last year at Ascot and at Chester. Decent run at last time out as well at April in, uh, rather, at Newbury. Certainly feel he can outrun those odds and has won at York before, albeit in 2022 in a much lower quality race, but certainly knows he can win on this track, which is always important. So a couple of horses there to back each way. I'm taking on the favorite Tower of London with Hamish and Al Kareem. So now we move forward to the 4.45 race. It's Another wide open handicap. It's the Yorkshire Equine Practice Handicap over seven furlongs. Class four, 20 runners in this. Look out for extra places if you can find them. A couple we like here at fairly big prices. Another investment, 10 to one. Slight concern over the mark and the weight on another investment, but he's got such a good record at York. Winning last year. Back in June, also had a fifth and a third, so we know he can run well at this track. Form recently, kind of indifferent, nothing spectacular. Fifth of ten in Newcastle early this month. 
and the 7th of 12 at Southall. Uh, carrying similar weights to what he will carry in this but we know he likes this track certainly capable of outrunning those odds at 10 to 1 right and um, right beneath that one a horse at an even bigger price at a really big price this one Lyndon B 33 to 1 last seen at Ascot the start of the month at 50 to 1 finished 6 of 9 that day but probably needed the run that was a class three by mine so i think his mark for this race looks okay ish certainly feel at 33 to 1 has the ability to outrun those odds because he had a really nice win at goodwood last year decent uh second at newbury as well last year and uh, doesn't travel up to the north very often certainly hasn't run at york before so it's quite interesting that they're bringing him up for this race and certainly feel that that type of price worth an each way punt 33 to 1 linden b And finally, the final race of the Dante Festival at York is the 5.20. It's the Irish Thoroughbred Marketing Handicap over five furlongs. Fast and furious, this one. Anything could really happen in a five furlong for three-year-olds. But we like a filly in this one, Enchanting. There's been quite a bit of money around for Enchanting. 10 to 1 currently in the market. Andrew Balding trained and holly doyle will be taking the ride on the day i just think in this type of field in a wide open race a horse like this has got a decent chance last seen out just a few weeks ago at wolverhampton didn't run too badly that day this is a bit of a step up uh, but did have a good first last year at beverly and certainly feels like the type of horse that can progress so do like enchanting for a bit of a punt in the last race of the Dante meeting. So best of luck. Good luck to everyone placing a bet this week. If you're at York, have a great day. If you're watching from home, have a great day. Wish you all the best. Anything can happen. It is horse racing, but fingers crossed for some more winners. And take care all. Uh, speak again soon.